Now there's a few adjustments we do need to make because of uh, what we did. Um, if you remember when we oh, I'm gonna push escape to stop drawing, uh, when we define the deck, we define the deck as bound in by the support lines. Um, that's making so the top of this abutment overlaps, and we don't want that. So we will just come in here to the properties, and what we will do is do start st station offset of 0.3 meters because this was 300 millimeters across so that just takes it right up to the edge okay. let's just take a quick look oh gotta do negative on this side um, All right. Okay, so I'm just going to do this tool to just kind of spin it around just to get a better look at it. See how there's that little bit of overlap right there, which gives me a little bit. Um, I can make some adjustments to fix that so let me just okay so I went around and did some checking on some stuff and it looks like to get it matched up just right for some reason um, the offset is close to 0.32 meters instead of 0.3 which doesn't make much sense based on the information I had set here which was 300 millimeters, the back wall, which kind of confuses me. Um, don't know why that is. I would have to look at some forms to try to figure it out. Also, another thing I noticed, just to, this kind of information, um, when we were putting this in, we set it so that it was set by the, as input based on the deck. Um, so if you look at this other template over here, um, it matches the length of the deck, although when the template was made, cap length is only at 8, which isn't the full length, but it still just stretches out to make it fit, um, just because of the settings that were applied when this was put in place. It just stretched it to fit the deck. Um, another thing is the piles on this side are a little bit different, so on the Left side it was 9.99, but we need to come in and adjust that to 9.4 on this side. Which doesn't affect much, but... Um, oops. But it can matter, depending on your situation. Alright, so... That's that. Oh, thanks. So, scan, I did that, and the only confusing thing I was, have is the deck, um, which is for some reason off by 20 millimeters. I can't figure out why. Oh well. Um, since this is just for modeling, I think that will do just fine for now. Um, but I may have to come back in and re-record this video after I figure out why. But in terms of just modeling the deck so it looks nice, I think that will do. Alright, and now that the piers and the abutments are in, the next part is to place the bearing, which is done in a similar fashion as before. I just come up here to place bearing. Uh, type we're going to do is a cube. There's three different types to pick from. Then you put in the width, depth, and height based on what you have on your bridge plans. All right, just pulling all the plans for the that. You got the thickness, the width, and the depth. Got all those dimensions in here. 
And I had those entered in here earlier. Um, if you're following along, you need to enter those in. Orientation, you can orient them with the girder or the pier. Um, we want them to line themselves up with the pier and not with the girder. So we'll just leave that piers. Um, I'm having, so they have bearing seats that, uh, that will add in these like steps. So we want to add those in. Let's see, so the offset for that is, let me just pull up. So that would be, oh, I want to go to page, I believe it was on five. There we are. So for this offset, we will need to do a little bit of trigonometry because it takes the offset from the center line here to the center of the, this part here. So gotta do some trigonometry real quick. All right, so we're in the math. Uh, it looks like we need to take the 470 divided by 2 plus the 130 divided by 2, multiply that by cosine 20, and that gives uh, 282 if you round it. So 282. Yeah. Alright, it just wants you to select what material it's made out of. Looks good, bearing good. Alright. So select support line, and then also draws them in, just kind of, sort of. Shows you this little dot where it's going to place them. And that looks good. So I'll just right click to reset and add that in. I just double checks to make sure you put the correct offset in, and I already double check that. And just enter that in, boom, all right. So, and it adds in those and also adds in the little steps there as needed. So there's that. And also when you're adding them, there's an option so you can apply a minimum seat depth. So you can apply a seat out here on the ends as well. But I already set the top of the cap to the proper elevation, so that's all good. And then I want to do the same thing with the abutments. Um, I did the... Separ I'm doing them separately from the pier just because the offset's a bit different. Um, let's see, yeah, that looks good. Um, so yeah, just want to place bearing again. Same deal, but now it's going to be 8.5 and 0.5, and that is based off the plans, which I'll just pull up and show real quick. All right, so pulling over the plans for the abutments, it's just right there in the middle. So that's just 500 because they're 1,000 across. So it's just 500 to place it right in the middle, which is where we want it. All right, so that's all good. So we just select that support line, place them there. It'll be the same on the abutments. We can just select that while we're at it. I'll place it there, and then just right-click to reset. Just data point to confirm. And there we go. Now we've got the bearings all in there, which is great. All right, and in the next video, we'll add in the wing walls.